Okay, so here I have a normal map and let's say I want to add some detail to it from this second normal map here. So how can I combine these two normal maps? You might have tried blending them in the same way that you would blend regular images, but this will probably not give you the result that you're looking for, because the colors in a normal map actually store very specific 3D data. So let's say this is the surface cross-section of our base normal map, and this is the cross-section of the detail that we want to add. The combined cross-section should look a bit like this. We want the detail to follow the curvature of the underlying surface. So what we need to do is we need to rotate the detail so it matches the underlying surface orientation. Okay, how can we do this? In a normal map, every pixel has three colors, red, green and blue. And these three color values store the coordinates of a 3D vector x, y and z this arrow here. And this arrow tells us in which direction the surface is pointing. So at every pixel of this base surface we have this direction vector available. And we also have these vectors for the detail normal map. So all we have to do now is for every pixel we will take the base surface normal vector, we measure the angle how much it has been rotated and then we apply the same rotation to the detail normal vector. And this will be our final combined normal vector. Now there's still one problem. In this simple 2D example, we only have one angle. Let's call it theta. It describes how much the vector has been rotated away from the z-axis. But a normal map is three-dimensional. So the vector cannot just rotate away from the z-axis. It can also rotate 360 degrees around the z-axis. So we have two angles. This one we called theta. The second angle is how far we rotate the vector away from the x-axis. And let's call it v. And this would be the y-axis. All we have to do to combine two normal maps is we have to calculate these two angles and then we use it to rotate the detail. You can do this in any software you want. It's basic mathematics. But in this video I'm going to show you how to do this in Blender. Alright, so here I have the file from the last video. We already loaded our normal map into Blender and we have also already calculated the two angles, theta and phi. So check out my last video to see how we set this all up and how we calculate theta and phi. So this was our base normal map. So let's duplicate this for our detail normal map. And we can load this in here. All right, so I opened the file here and let's make sure to set it to non-color data. So this is our base normal map and this is the detail normal map. In Blender here, this is a shader. So here we get the normal vector of the current pixel and we want to rotate this by the two angles of the current pixel. And we can use the vector rotate node for that. First, we want to rotate the vector around the Z axis by V and we rotate it in the opposite direction. Then we rotate it around the Y axis by theta and then we rotate it back around the Z axis by V again. And if we now display this, we get the combined normal map. You might ask why we did three rotations here. Here is a simple example explaining why we did this. Let's say I want to rotate this cube around this axis here, which is at a 45 degree angle. Well, first I rotate it around Z by negative 45 degrees, which aligns our rotation axis with the Y axis. Now we can perform the rotation that we want around the Y axis. And then we rotate it around Z by 45 degrees. And here we go, we performed a rotation around this axis. We should also check for certain problems that can arise when combining normal maps. Let's say this is the base surface with a normal vector like this and you add detail on top of it like this. The combined normal vector would point behind the surface, which is something you usually don't want to happen in a normal map. If this is the Z axis, we can check for this if the Z coordinate of this vector is negative. So in Blender, let's use a 
separate XYZ and a combined XYZ node. And here we can clamp the Z component between 0 and 1. And after we did this, we have to renormalize this vector. So we add a normalize node at the end again. And this is usually also a good idea to do this at the start, especially if you work with 8 bit textures. So here we combine the normal maps. And here we limit to positive values. Now, how could we adjust the strength of this effect? Basically, how much detail will be added? Well, we could just change the strength of the detail normal map. We can do this in the same way that I showed in my last video, by just changing the angle theta of the detail normal map. So here we adjust the strength. At zero, we have the exact same result as if we did not add any detail. And at one, we add the full detail. And we can even go beyond and below, but you have to be careful with that. 